Hello everyone, and welcome back to... If you've been following the latest financial news, then you've probably heard about direct deposit payments hitting accounts this October. These payments can range anywhere from $500 to $12, and today, we're here to break down everything you need to know. Hey everyone, welcome back to Stimulus Updates your go-to channel for the latest news and updates on economic stimulus packages. I'm your host Joseph, and today we have some exciting developments to share with you. First up, we have Social Security payments. Social Security is one of the largest and most significant financial assistance programs for Americans, offering support to retired individuals, people with disabilities, and dependents. The basics of Social Security eligibility are actually straightforward, but often misunderstood. If you have worked and paid Social Security taxes for at least 10 years, you're most likely eligible for retirement benefits. And if you're unable to work due to a qualifying disability, or if you're a dependent or survivor of someone who paid into Social Security, you may qualify for other types of benefits. Now, Let's talk about how much you can expect to receive. The amount each recipient gets varies based on their earning history. For example, retirees receive monthly benefits calculated as a percentage of their pre-retirement income. This can mean payments as low as $500 for those with limited earnings history or above $1,200 for individuals with longer, higher paying careers. If you're unsure of your expected benefit amount, the Social Security Administration offers an easy-to-use benefits calculator on their website. A key benefit of Social Security is that once you're enrolled, payments arrive automatically every month via direct deposit. For October 2024, payments will be deposited based on your birth date, usually on the second, third, or fourth Wednesday of the month. And if you're just starting your Social Security journey, make sure to set up direct deposit through your My Social Security account on the SSA website to avoid delays. Moving on to Supplemental Security Income, or SSI. SSI provides crucial support to individuals who need additional financial help due to limited income or resources. Unlike Social Security, SSI doesn't require you to have a specific work history. Instead, it's designed to assist individuals with low income, limited resources, or those with disabilities. If you're struggling to make ends meet, SSI could provide the additional monthly support you need. In 2024, the average SSI payment is about $914 per month for individuals and $1,371 for eligible couples. These payments are consistent, helping recipients budget month to month. For October, the payment will typically land on the 1S, unless that date is a weekend or holiday. In that case, it will be issued on the last business day of the previous month. To apply for SSI, you'll need to go through the Social Security Administration. You can apply online, by phone, or at your local SSA office. Make sure to bring documentation of your income, assets, and, if applicable, medical information about any disabilities you may have. Another popular source of direct deposits, especially for families, is the child tax credit, which was expanded in recent years to support households with children. The child tax credit provides financial support to parents or guardians with children under the age of 17. For qualifying families, this credit can offer significant monthly payments. In recent years, it has translated to between $250 and $300 per child each month, which adds up over the year to help cover expenses. Eligibility for the child tax credit is based on adjusted gross income, a GI. For single filers, the maximum AGI to receive full benefits is $75,000. For heads of household, it's $112,500, and for married couples filing jointly, it's $150,000. If your AGI is above these limits, you might still qualify for a partial credit. Most people who filed taxes in the past two years 
and meet the AGI limits, will automatically receive monthly CTC payments via direct deposit. However, if you didn't file, you may need to use the IRS non-filers tool to register. Double-checking your eligibility can make a big difference, so don't skip this step if you haven't been receiving these payments. Now, let's talk about an exciting option outside of government benefits, bank promotions and bonuses. Several banks are offering promotional bonuses as high as $1,200 for new or existing customers meeting specific criteria. Many banks, credit unions and financial institutions offer cash bonuses to attract new customers or reward existing ones. These promotions can vary significantly in terms of requirements. For example, some banks might require you to set up direct deposit for a certain amount, while others could have minimum spending thresholds on a new debit card. Each bank has its own unique eligibility requirements, and it's important to read the terms carefully. For example, a promotion might require you to deposit at least $5,000 within 30 days of opening an account or make a certain number of purchases each month. Since these promotions often expire quickly, timing is crucial. If you're interested, make sure to sign up before the deadline and follow all the specified steps to secure your bonus. Checking with a bank representative can also be helpful to confirm you meet all the eligibility criteria. Ensuring your direct deposit information is up to date is critical to receiving your funds smoothly and on time. Whether you're receiving Social Security, SSI child tax credit payments, or taking advantage of bank bonuses, here's how you can keep your information current. If you're receiving Social Security benefits, updating your direct deposit information is simple. You can log in to your My Social Security account online at ssa.gov, go to the Direct Deposit section and enter your new bank details. For child tax credit payments, it's also important to ensure your bank info on file with the IRS is accurate. You can log in to the IRS portal and check your details under the Manage Payments section. An incorrect or outdated bank account could mean significant delays, so double-checking is worth it. If you're setting up direct deposit as part of a bank promotion, be mindful of the account requirements. Some banks may specify that direct deposits must come from payroll or government sources to qualify for the promotion. One of the top questions we get about direct deposits is whether these funds are taxable. While some payments like Social Security benefits might be taxable under certain circumstances, other funds, like SSI, or the child tax credit, are usually tax-free. Social security benefits are generally taxable only if your total income, including half of your social security, exceeds $25,000 for single filers or $32,000 for joint filers. If you meet this threshold, you might have to pay federal income tax on a portion of your benefits. SSI and child tax credit payments are designed to be non-taxable so they won't increase your taxable income. This is a huge relief for many families who rely on these benefits to help cover basic expenses. Thank you so much for joining us for today's detailed guide on October 2024, Direct Deposit Payments. Whether you're relying on Social Security, SSI Child Tax Credit, or taking advantage of bank promotions, staying informed is the key to receiving your payments on time. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest financial insights and resources.